If you ask your parents or your grandparents or your high school counselors what you should do when you become an adult, they're almost certainly going to tell you to follow your passion. But if you log on to YouTube and you look up what to do, you'll probably see a bunch of videos about how college is a scam and instead you should invest in their $1,997 course. And this is gonna take you from broke loser to $30,000 a month in 28 days. Now, like many things in life, the truth is somewhere in between these two extremes and me, like millions of other people, have had to learn this the hard way. I went all the way through the college meat grinder and actually got a doctorate. So I understand the entire system and how it works from an insider's perspective. And although it did turn out relatively well for me, you know, I got a doctorate, I was able to make six figures working in a medical profession. I knew many people who actually had terrible experiences doing this. In fact, I would say more often than not, it turns out bad where people have a lot of regrets about their college experience. Because the truth is, the value of a college degree has been dropping for a long period of time, yet the costs has been going up. And when your grandparents and your parents went to college, they could basically get any degree and it would be a good investment. And the reason for that is because a college degree was so rare. But recently, nearly 70% of people have been going to college. So a degree really isn't rare anymore. It's all simple supply and demand. And on top of that, 40% of people who go to college actually end up dropping out. And out of the remaining people who finish their degree, two thirds of them have regrets. And one of the main reasons is because of the college debt that they have to take out. One of the second biggest reasons reasons is because of the fact that college is not preparing them for the workforce. And for that expensive piece of paper, only one in four people end up working in a career that has anything to do with their degree choice. And so it's very important that if you're going to go to college, you get a degree that's going to be worth it from a financial perspective, especially if you're taking out student loans. And you want to get a degree that's actually going to help you achieve your goals in life, not a degree where you're going to have to work double shifts at Starbucks and McDonald's in order to pay back your massive student loan debt. And by the end of this video, you're you're going to know what degrees have the best return on investment. You're going to have a much better idea of how you can choose the best degree for you. And on top of that, I'm going to teach you how to gently tap that like button for the evil YouTube algorithm. No, but all joking aside, I am going to help you figure out what degree would be best for you or if you should even get a degree at all. And I've literally helped thousands of people find their ideal careers. I've done lots of different interviews on this channel. It's basically like a cheat code for you to figure out the best opportunities out there because basically the slogan for this channel is go where the opportunity is. And when you do that, it's gonna give you an unfair advantage on being successful in life and achieving your goals. So I highly recommend subscribing so you don't miss out and let's get into it right now. All right, so first one on the list is going to be science degrees. And there's a lot of science degrees. Many of them are not that great. I'm gonna choose chemistry. So this is the major that one of my favorite writers of all time, Kurt Vonnegut, briefly took. He wrote the book Slaughterhouse Five as well as Cat's Cradle. And oftentimes in his books, he would actually talk about chemistry. And he had a really morbidly dark and absurd sense of humor, but always with kind of a positive silver lining to it. You know, there's always like a hopeful underlying message, which is something I always try to give off on this channel as well. I tell you guys the reality of the situation, but I think the best thing is to be a rational optimist. And I know these painful truths can be hard to hear sometimes, but the truth is there's a lot of amazing opportunities opportunities out there and the world can be a great place as well. Anyways, back to science degrees and chemistry degrees specifically. So I do get comments on this channel from time to time from people who are basically just like, get a STEM degree, bro. And this is from Bobos who think that they know everything, but the truth is it's not that simple. Out of the STEM degrees, science degrees are the worst, especially at the bachelor's level. This is something that I do cover in other videos, but chemistry is one of the best ones. So chemistry does rank number 54 on my college degree ranker out of over 900 degrees. And if you look at the stats, it is pretty good. Now, if you want to become a scientist, and really, if you want to get a lot of those high level jobs with science degrees, you will have to get a master's and in some cases, even a doctorate. And of course, that's going to be a lot of extra schooling. But if you do get a master's or a doctorate, as long as you have a good plan going in, it can be worth it. But at the bachelor's level, science degrees are clearly not as good as the other four. Now, in conclusion, some of the science degrees can be really good. And one of the biggest perks is everybody is saying these days that you need to trust the scientists, bro, even if they're wrong time after time, right? So whenever you're wrong, you can just say, well, the data suggested at the time that I was right. So in the 2020s, getting a science degree is basically a license to say whatever you want and get away with it. Fun times we live in. Anyways, just kidding. On to the next one. Number nine on the list is going to be 
economics. So a weirdly large amount of famous people in all different walks of life have gotten economics degrees. And I'm not even kidding. There's actually articles about this phenomenon on the internet, right? So this one's called want to be famous, study economics. So business leaders like Warren Buffett, Sam Walton of Walmart and Steve Ballmer of Microsoft are a few examples. Then there's former US presidents like Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump. Then you've got sports figures like John Elway, Tiger Woods and Bill Belichick and even musicians like Mick Jagger. Yeah, it's ridiculous ridiculous how many famous people have studied economics. And when you think about it, it actually kind of does make total sense, right? Economics will give you a great understanding of how the economy works and where the opportunities are. Now, let's say you're a very smart, very hardworking person, but you go into a business that doesn't have a lot of opportunity, like you go into a dying industry. You might still end up being successful, but it's probably going to be much harder. Your chances of success are going to be lower and it's not going to be as profitable, right? So instead of being able to make a million million dollars in like five or 10 years, it might take you 30 years. But if you take that same person, put them in an industry that has a lot of opportunity, they're going to have a much higher chance of being successful. Plus, they're probably going to be more successful, aka they're going to make more money and they're going to do it faster. Plus, it's not going to be nearly as stressful. And having a strong understanding of economics and how supply and demand works will lead you to making these decisions where you end up in situations where whatever you're supplying, aka your skill set, has a very strong demand. So I'm not going to go over the stats much on this video, but economics does come in at number 27 on my college degree ranker. And yeah, it can be a really good one. And it is a social science degree technically. So it is one of the better social science degrees. Number eight on the list is going to be a physics degree. And this is one that has a lot of the biggest giga brains of history, like Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Marie Curie. There's also a bunch of astronauts that got physics degrees. And on top of that, the billionaire playboy himself, Elon Musk got a physics degree as well. And this is a degree that has really good statistics overall. With that being said, you're not gonna become a physicist with just a bachelor's degree. You're gonna need to get at least a master's if not a doctorate. But even with just a bachelor's degree, lots of companies in the finance industry, for instance, love hiring physics graduates because they know they're getting a big brain individual. And a lot of companies have this strategy where they basically just hire the smartest people for the role. And if you're able to complete a physics degree, which is really difficult, they pretty much know that you're gonna be smart. So physics comes in at number 18 on my college degree ranker really solid statistics you can argue here correlation versus causation a lot of the degrees on this list are kind of like that basically really smart people tend to do well whether they get a college degree or not and it's debatable whether the college degree itself contributes to their success but there's really no way to tell that and if you really look into it it's probably a little bit of both so yeah physics is really good here another one that's also really good that's kind of in the same realm is the next one on the list and that is mathematics. Now, there is a lot of famous people that have studied mathematics as well, such as Google co-founder Sergey Brin, Netflix co-founder Reed Hastings, and a bunch of astronauts again. Now, the stats on this one are great, but again, you could argue correlation versus causation here. But one thing is for sure, if you are good at a skill that is valuable in society, and there's not that many other people that are good at the skill, and if you like it, it's even better, then that is going to be something where you're probably going to be able to make a lot of money with it. And mathematics is obviously one of those skills. So in that particular case, it would be a great opportunity for you. And that's what I always tell you to do on this channel, which is to go where the opportunity is. Now, this one is actually tied with the next one on the list, which is statistics. Now, on my college degree ranker, mathematics comes in at number 22. And statistics is around there as well. Now, there are some subtle differences here, of course, like mathematics, depending on sort of where you take it and what you specialize in, can be a little bit theoretical, right? So it's not nearly as practical when it comes to solving problems in the real world as something like statistics, but it still can be really good. Next one on the list, number five is going to be business degrees. And there's tons of famous people that have also graduated with business degrees like Clint Eastwood, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and P. Diddy. Now, business degrees have the reputation of being relatively easy. They have the reputation of being the degree that people who like to party, but they still want to have a decent job after they graduate with college get. But the truth is, when you look at the statistics, especially considering how easy they are compared to a lot of the other ones on this list, they're really good. So for instance, management information systems comes in at number 17 on my college degree ranker. And management information is basically kind of business skills mixed with a little bit of technology skills as well. And that's a great 
great combination. And in the modern world, learning about technology is probably one of the smartest ways for you to leverage other skills. So for instance, if you're an artist and you want to get paid to do art, you can use technology to blast your art out to thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of people. And I really do think that in the next 20 years, artists that are smart about how they go about monetizing their artistic skills are going to dominate. And by the way, 99.9% .9 of the time, that is not going to involve going to college if you are an artist and you wanna make a living from art. And I have a ton of great advice that's coming out for people who are artistic and they wanna make a living from art. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. For instance, one of the things that gigabrains around the world are doing right now is they're getting chill remote jobs that teach them valuable skills. And I made an entire video that's the remote job tier list where I rank the best and the worst remote jobs. And you can check that out right here. Speaking of jobs that can be done remotely, the next one on the list is going to be technology related degrees. Now, although technology degrees are the new kid on the block, they still have a good amount of famous people that have studied them. So for instance, one of them is Liam Neeson. That's right. Don't try to hack his computer because he has a very particular set of skills and he will find you. But yeah, technology related degrees are really good when you look at the numbers. For instance, information technology is my number 15 ranked degree on my college degree ranker. But the downside of technology degrees is there's actually alternative ways to get into technology related careers that are much faster, cheaper, and easier. They're not for everybody. The degrees are certainly not a scam by any means. They have good numbers, but there are simply better ways for many people out there to get into those careers. For instance, I did an interview with James on my channel who was able to land an entry-level IT job after being a carpenter in Philadelphia and then trying a bunch of different odd jobs like delivery driver, etc. So he was able to land an IT job in a few weeks using an iPad. And I'll put that interview right here if I can remember. You can check it out. So yeah, technology degrees, not a scam by any means the numbers are great, but there are alternative ways to get into technology related careers. Another really good one you can do is still getting a degree, but going to an accelerated university like Western Governors University. And I've covered that on this channel as well. So in many cases, you can get a degree in a year or less. Number three on the list is going to be health related degrees. And particularly, we are going to be talking about a BSN to become a nurse. And BSN stands for Bachelors of Science in Nursing, but there's a lot of other really good health related degrees out there. So of course, there's going to be many different famous titans of their industries on this list like Pau Gasol, Kim Jong, myself, and also Dr. Phil. But yeah, all joking aside, I did get a health degree and they can be really solid options. One of the things that's amazing about health careers is you actually do have to get the degree in order to get into the career, right? It's not one of those things that's optional like technology related careers. And I also think that health related careers are probably the most stable careers you could possibly get into. So even if it was the end of the world, for instance, there would still be nurses and doctors taking care of people. And that's why there's always multiple doctors in every single zombie movie or zombie show. So on my college degree ranker, nurse comes in at number 21 and physician assistant comes in at number eight. So yeah, health can be really great. Uh, there's definitely uh, pluses and minuses to getting into health related professions. Definitely check out the other videos on my channel about that. But number two on the list is going to be engineering degrees. So Bill Nye, the science guy, Ashton Kutcher, Cindy Crawford, Mr. Bean, and a plethora of different CEOs like Jeff Bezos also studied engineering. And engineers are basically the masters of the universe, the S tier human beings of existence. And the rest of us should honestly just be glad that engineers allow us to occupy the same space as them. But why is it that they're only number two on the list? Well, let's talk about the good and the bad of engineering. First of all, in order to become an engineer, you do have to have an engineering degree. So there is a natural barrier to entry there, kind of like healthcare degrees. Second, engineering degrees are very difficult. Now this can be a bad thing, but if you are able to get it done, employers kind of know what they're getting when they hire engineers. They're getting someone who's very smart and very hardworking. And they're very likely to hire you even if it has nothing to do with engineering. And the third thing, this is probably the most important one, is engineering teaches you practical problem solving skills, right? So sometimes degrees like mathematics, for instance, will teach you problem solving skills, but they're not nearly as practical or as applicable to the real world as engineering degrees are. And that's why you see that over the last 40 years, engineers actually on average earn more money than any other type of degree. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the same thing over the next 40 years. Now engineering degrees absolutely dominate my college degree ranker list. I believe seven out of the top 10 degrees are engineering degrees. So why is it that I did not put engineering degrees at number one? Well, because there's one degree that stands above all of the other ones. Yes, this is the God tier degree and that is going to be 
computer science. This one ranks number one out of over 900 different degrees on my college degree ranker, and it absolutely does have the best stats. And if you get this degree, you're typically going to become a software developer. And if you become a software developer, you are pretty much set for life. For instance, if you look at people who are involved in the FIRE movement, which is the Financial Independence Retire Early movement, this is kind of a movement you can check it out on Reddit if you want. And this is basically a bunch of people who are trying to retire in their 30s and 40s, and typically they have jobs, right? They haven't even started a business. Many of those people, I'd say probably the majority of them, work in technology and specifically software development. And not only can you make incredibly good salaries when it comes to working in tech and software development, but on top of that, you have great business benefits, you have great work-life balance. A lot of people will get really good bonuses as well as stock options. And there's this new thing emerging called being overemployed, where a lot of people are actually getting multiple jobs. And the reason they're getting multiple jobs is because of the fact they probably only have to work like one or two hours a day in many cases. If they have all that free time, might as well get multiple jobs, right? And if all of that wasn't enough, uh, especially for the top two on this list, engineering and software development, I think they are amazing if you want to start a business down the line. So yeah, yeah, computer science, number one on my college degree ranker list. Of course, I'll have it pop up on the screen. It is getting a little bit harder to get into software development. It used to be extremely easy. You basically just needed to network and know the bare minimum coding skills and you'd be able to get a job. Now you really do have to know your stuff. Getting a computer science degree is one way to get there. And this is one that you can get into without getting a computer science degree, but it is gonna be a lot harder than a lot of the other tech-related uh, careers that I've mentioned on this channel, like IT, for instance. IT help desk is very easy to get into. So is tech sales. Now, you shouldn't just go for computer science because it's the best degree. You should go for a degree that complements your skill set. And that's exactly what I teach you how to do in this video where I go over the ultimate guide to choosing your college degree, which you can check out right here. I definitely recommend you go to that video.